Hi, Suffern Central. I'm Dr. Gunderson, and this is the December edition of the Suffern Scoop. As we head into holiday recess and approach the new year, I want to take this opportunity to showcase the numerous ways our students and staff have embraced the spirit of the season. Over the past month, all seven of our schools have been collecting toys for the Suffern Police Department's PBA Dare Holiday Toy Drive, an event now in its 32nd year. In addition to having collection sites at each school, many of our students and staff will help the Suffern Police sort and distribute those toys as well. I just wanted to take a minute to thank all of the students, the staff, the parents and teachers from the Suffern School District for all of their help. Without you guys, we could not do the drive on this scale. It's also heartwarming to see that students are finding their own unique ways to make an impact on the community this season. From clothing drives to dog treats and everything in between, here's a look at what Suffern Central has been up to this season. We have organized a hat and mitten drive that we're calling Share the Warmth, and all of these hats and mittens are being donated to the Slotesburg Food Pantry. We were just helping organize and sort these gloves and hats. We donate all of these to help them stay warm. Okay, we're gonna put it right here, right? We are just finishing our seventh annual pajama drive. We partner with Scholastic Book Clubs and all of the pajamas go to local families in need. Each year we're so excited to have the Suffern Varsity Hockey Team join us. This year they collected about 20 pairs of pajamas and delivered them to Viola in person as a team a few days ago. The kids are so excited to see that they are leading even the big kids in the district. We're putting together gift bags filled with different necessities like shampoo, lotion, toothpaste. We're giving them to Meals on Wheels recipients and it's really important to give back to the community because the holidays um, can be a very hard time for a lot of people. We baked our own healthy dog treats and today we're basically assembly lining our treats into cute little baggies to sell to help raise money for awareness. We've partnered with our local high tour animal shelter and we've done a donations uh, collection for them. In addition, we've partnered with a rescue in Oregon. They saved a dog named Mildred and we are going to be selling dog treats and taking pictures with her and raising awareness for dogs like her being rescued. We're making bags for our veterans because they Keep us safe. The veterans always underappreciated. They've done more for us than we will ever imagine in our lives. And it's just so nice to be able to just give them simple little happy holiday cards. They do like so much for us and they sacrifice so much and it just feels nice to like give back a little. I've been there when we actually deliver these and they just get such a kick out of them and just see them smiling, laughing. They start telling different stories about deployments. It's just nice to kind of see that spark brought back into them. Students in Yak come up with the ideas of what charities they'd like to support. Today they are painting nails for pancreatic cancer. It makes me happy knowing that this money is going towards people so they can find a cure for cancer. I'd also like to shout out to those teachers in our district who quietly adopted families during the holidays, providing gifts and treats for those who could use a little extra cheer. Staff members in the building adopt a family and we shop anonymously for the families. What families were asking for primarily were, was clothing, sweaters, but on top of that the teachers, I think they, they went above what was on the wish list and they got some toys too for the kids. We deliver them to the homes, this way they have a gift under their Christmas tree or their Hanukkah or whatever holiday they're celebrating and um, they're warm and cozy for the, for the season. This is the most generous school community that I've had the pleasure to work in. It's really important to us that all of our students and all of our families feel supported throughout the school year, but especially during the holidays. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season with those you love and a restful holiday recess. See you in 2023, Suffern. The Suffern Central School District cares about other people. Together, we are one Suffern. Juntos somos un Suffern. Together we are one suffering.